Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about God's faithfulness. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of God's faithfulness is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. It says, When Yahweh your God brings you into the land where you go to possess it, and casts out many nations before you, the Hittite, the Girgashte, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, seven nations greater and mightier than you, and when Yahweh your God delivers them up before you, and you strike them, then you shall utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them. You shall not make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to his son, nor shall you take his daughter for your son. For that would turn away your sons from following me, that they may serve other gods. So Yahweh's anger would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. But you shall deal with them like this, you shall break down their altars, dash their pillars in pieces, cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their engraved images with fire. For you are a holy people to Yahweh your God. Yahweh your God has chosen you to be a people for his own possession, above all peoples who are on the face of the earth. Yahweh didn't set his love on you nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all peoples, but because Yahweh loves you, and because he desires to keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, Yahweh has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that Yahweh your God himself is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness to a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments, and repays those who hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore keep the commandments, the statutes, and the ordinances which I command you today, to do them. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of God's faithfulness is found in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 21 through 26. It says, This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It is because of Yahweh's loving kindnesses that we are not consumed, because his mercies don't fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yahweh is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. Yahweh is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that a man should hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 through 13. It reads, Therefore let him who thinks he stands be careful that he doesn't fall. No temptation has taken you except what is common to man. God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able, but will with the temptation also make the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Passage number 4. This is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 4 through 9. The scripture says, I always thank my God concerning you for the grace of God which was given you in Christ Jesus, that in everything you were enriched in him, in all speech and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will also confirm you until the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, through whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. The Bible says, Let's hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of God's faithfulness and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on God's faithfulness. Passage number 6 is from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11 through 13. It says, This saying is trustworthy, for if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. 
If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he can't deny himself. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 John chapter 1, verses 7 through 10. The Bible says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us the sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we haven't sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of God's faithfulness is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 23 through 24. It reads, May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who will also do it. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. The passage states, Finally, brothers, pray for us, that the word of the Lord may spread rapidly and be glorified, even as also with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and evil men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of God's faithfulness is from Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. It says, God is not a man, that he should lie, nor a son of man, that he should repent. Has he said, and he won't do it? Or has he spoken, and he won't make it good? This concludes our Bible study on the topic of God's faithfulness. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to God's faithfulness and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.